Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Reagan, and this is my channel, Ray Ray Reads. And today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. So I just made this pumpkin spice like whipped coffee latte thing and it's so good. Just look at the look at the beauty. So today I'm going to be reading Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. My copy came in a couple days ago and I wanted to wait until I could read it in one day. So this is a kind of 24 hour reading vlog, but not really. I'm gonna probably read this in way less than 24 hours. But yeah, I figured I would read this and vlog my experience with you guys. You all know Colleen Hoover is like one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite, and her new book is out, and so I'm gonna read it and vlog my experience. I'm really nervous because I've heard that this is like an ugly love slash slammed, um, and or no, an ugly love slash hopeless. And I loved those books so much, specifically ugly love, but I've heard this is like pretty good, like more like a four star read than like a five star read, but I'm excited. So I'll keep you guys updated as I get started and what my initial thoughts are. Well, it is 84 degrees outside right now, so I just came outside to do some more reading. Um, I think I'm on like page 45, 47. Um, so it feels freaking amazing outside right now. I am chilling on this little sun chair that we took off the side of the road. So uh, love broke college girls, that's always a good time. But anyways, I'm about to read some more of this and I'll keep you guys updated. It's really good so far, I think. I'm enjoying it so far, we'll just go with that. Alright guys, I'm stopping, I'm on page 87, I'm about to go inside and make some lunch, but so far this is really, really, really good. I'm excited to find out like what is wrong with Samson, like what what like his life looks like. Also please ignore the sound, my neighbors have like a blow up in their backyard and they're blaring music, it's somebody's birthday apparently, but anyways. This is really good so far. She, Bea, is super broken and obviously so is Samson. So I'm about to go make some lunch, but I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back inside now because I was too distracted outside, but I'm on page 121 of Heartbones and I just read this quote and I wanted to read it to you guys because holy crap. Okay, so it says, uh, Bea is talking to Samson and she says, I mean, I've hugged people as a greeting, a quick hello or a quick goodbye hug, but I've never been, I don't know how to put it, held? I nod, yeah. That's a better description. I guess I've never been held by anyone. I don't know what that's like. I try to avoid it actually. It seems like it would be weird. And then he says, I get. I guess it depends on who's holding you. No, no, no. So I recently discovered a new snack and it's thanks to my friend Sully who told me about this, but apparently people do this. So you get some pretzel sticks, some honey, and some cinnamon. And I'm just gonna use this little tiny mug. You just pour some honey in there. And then, it smells so good. So you put some cinnamon in the top. I don't even know how much to put, cause like, can't really. That's kind of a lot, it's fine. And then, you just use one of your pretzel sticks to mix it up. Or if you're bougie and you already have cinnamon flavored honey. I mean, it's just so good. Mm, so good. I am now halfway through Heartbones and it's freaking good. Okay. I can see why people say it's a mixture of hopeless and ugly love, 
Um, but I'm ready to get to like the deep part because like her books are always like deep, half deep and like half love story. And so it's been majority love story and not like super, super deep. So I'm ready to get to that deep aspect of it. So I'm gonna take my pretzels and my honey and go read. Okay, so I've gotten in this bad habit of when something super sweet happens, I like do this and like hit my forehead. I just smacked myself in the freaking head because something so sweet just happened. And I think I might love Samson more than anything else in this world. What the heck? I'm confused. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have finished Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover. Um, I really enjoyed this book. Um, I decided to give it four out of five stars and I will go into why exactly, but um, to clarify, I was going to give a short um, summary of what this book is about. Basically, this book is about a girl named Bea who has to move in with her dad at the beginning of the book and her stepmother and stepsister. And she moves in with them and they're like super loaded. They live on the beach and she meets her neighbor, Samson, who is also loaded. And she comes from a super poor um, area of town and her mom is like like not a good mom and so she just has a lot of resentment in that way anyways she meets samson they start to like each other and they decide that they're just going to keep it shallow because they both have to leave at the end of the summer in the beginning of august so they decide to keep it super shallow um obviously that doesn't happen naturally so anyways they both fall for each other and that's kind of where the story goes off from there but this book was super enjoyable as are most colin hoover books in my opinion the only reason i didn't love it necessarily is just because um first of all i didn't feel super close with the characters i didn't feel a huge connection with them and specifically bea i don't know i couldn't really connect with her i don't really know why i just i don't know i don't i don't know but i just couldn't and i think maybe it had to do with the fact that the book isn't super long it's actually quite short um it's only 324 pages which i think is like kind of normal for her books but i don't know i don't know i just i just didn't feel close to the characters also the book didn't make me cry which is not typical um i usually ball my eyes out in her books and i just didn't do that in this book i think i teared up like once or twice but it wasn't like for real tearing up it was just kind of like oh my gosh that's a really sad scene but i don't know something about this book just didn't totally do it for me but it still wasn't a really really good read and i really enjoyed it so i would highly recommend i think i just wish that there was more scenes between her and her family and a little bit more development of that plot line I would have really enjoyed that but yeah other than that i really did enjoy this book and i would highly recommend if you are interested in trying it out um it is a really beautiful book and definitely something that i will um keep and love forever but definitely not one of my favorites by colleen hoover but anyways um i really did enjoy it and you should pick it up if you're interested but that is all for this video. It was a short, quick reading vlog for the day. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something.